Hey, this is Greg McFeeters with Snap and Rack. I want to give you a quick overview of our new UL2703 listed system. The UL2703 listing basically ensures that all of the components in the system are bonded to ground. It's going to save you time and money on your installation. The first component we want to show you is our new bonding mid-clamp assembly. We've eliminated the need for grounding washers between the module frame and the rail. And instead what we have are, in the channel nut itself, we've put two uh, bonding pins and also in the module clamp we have two bonding pins in the module clamp. Uh, so that ensures that uh, you not only bond the module to the rail but actually all of this hardware is bonded as well. Um, and that's actually conducting through the bolt, the split lock washer, uh, to tie everything together electrically. You'll also notice we have a new shape on the mid clamps. Uh, it's got a wider uh, ledge, as we call it, so it's got more purchase on the module, so just make it easier to install. And of course, it wouldn't be snap and rack if it didn't snap in, and then you can slide those side to side in the rail. Make sure you're using, we did make a slight change to the rail profile to ensure that the bonding channel nuts would slide smoothly, so uh, it will work with the uh, previous rail profile, but for best results, we definitely recommend making sure you have the, the latest UL rail profile. Our new adjustable end clamps integrate the same features as the mid clamps. We have pins uh, on the top clamp as well as in the channel nut. And we've now integrated the what we call the backstop has been integrated into the channel nut. So it's all one piece. That ensures electrical continuity all the way through. And uh, we've been calling it our X clamp because it now has the shape of the X on the back. If you're wondering why the heck we did that, uh, it's because you can't always, and be short, you don't always use an end clamp at the end of a row. Sometimes you use it in the middle of a rail, such as around a vent pipe. So we wanted to make sure that you could still snap it in and out of the rail easily. So that's our new end clamp. Our new bonding universal end clamps look almost identical to the old clamps. Uh, if you look really closely, you'll see the addition of some small pins on the larger piece of the assembly. Uh, that just is how we get electrical continuity into the clamp. Note that because this clamp only has pins on the, the main piece, uh, it doesn't actually bond modules to rails. It just bonds this part within the assembly. So if you have a, a, a module that's installed only with universal end clamps, you will need to add an additional piece of grounding hardware to it. Our standoff clamp assemblies are now mill finish and use a bonding channel nut inside the rail to attach the two. One of the best features of the new system is that the rail splices are now listed for bonding. We did that through the addition of these bonding pins on the splice insert. This means no more rail splice jumpers. Our flash L foot assemblies now feature a mill finish base underneath the flashing and the channel nut is now a pin channel nut and the bolt is now a flange bolt instead of being a bolt with a loose split lock washer. We've also gone ahead and spec'd a longer inch and a quarter bolt that basically makes it very easy to always be able to snap those channel nuts right into the rail. And finally, our listing includes our new snap and rack grounding lug. This lug just snaps into the rail. There's no drilling required. And then you uh, are able to insert your grounding conductor against this backstop piece. You can run it either way, up, up slope or parallel with the rails. And the bolt is the same size, half inch socket as everything else in the system. So you just tighten that bolt and this system is now bonded. The listing requires that you use one lug per continuous array block. That was a quick overview of the new UL Listed Series 100 system from Snap and Rack. For all the details on the system, visit snapandrack.com or give us a call.